Hi there, it's me Sandy and I'm here today to share with you some thoughts on a fragrance that I have seen a million times at Marshalls and TJ Maxx for like $9.99 or $7.99 for a 100ml bottle. Um, I'll, I'll cut to the chase here. It's Ellen Tracy Bronze and I even have seen double packs of this size I have a fuzz <laughs> um, for like $9.99 at the discount stores and I have had a couple samples of this through the years so one of the samples I had used years ago I don't know what became of it and I remembered liking it and then recently I took a trip to Colorado uh, just a short kind of drive down there and fly back turn right around trip and I just took some samples and one of the things that I took was my full sample of bronze and I sprayed it on and just a little bit because I didn't want to bother anybody you know um, the person I was driving with or anything that tiny little bit I would get wafts of it all day and I just was loving it and had forgotten how much I like this fragrance and how beautiful I think it is and uh, I ended up ordering a bottle I wore it the whole trip um, I would put it on in the morning. I would refresh it later in the day because it doesn't have like incredible lasting power, but it's not bad. Um, I can't really give you an hour count, but it's pretty good. Um, it's not one where you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's gone already. Okay, so I think that this one gets a little confusion if you go on for Grantica and read reviews because, because of the name and the shape of the bottle, and it's a little reminiscent of the Estee Lauder bronze um, perfume bottles. Some of them have like this medallion on it. This is in no way related to Estee Lauder bronze or any other kind of suntan lotion, in my opinion, fragrance. Um, some people find it suntan lotion-y and that's fine, that's their nose. To me, this is a beautiful, extremely powdery, citrusy vanilla with something in it that is a little spicy and a, not incense-y because it's not smoky at all, but there's some complex spiciness in it that's the kinds of spices that you get in incense-y fragrances, minus the smoke, if that makes sense. So. When you first spray it on, one of the um, accords is a lemonade accord. So basically across the top, you get several citruses, you get lemon, probably mandarin, you get apple, and you get this lemonade accord. And you really do get that, you pick that up. So it's like a, it's pretty sweet, pretty sweet lemonade. Um, I'm just gonna refresh my memory here. And always powdery, so if you're not a fan of powder, um, and I'm saying leaning into baby powder, so it's like lemonade, makeup powder, baby powder, resinous spices a little bit, ambery, warm, heliotrope, it's got tonka bean, it's got heliotrope, so it's definitely got that powdery sweetness. It's just beautiful. Um, you shouldn't pay a whole lot for this just because it can be had so many places for really affordable. So yeah, I just think this is beautiful. This is kind of like ringing my chimes in a major way lately. I love powdery fragrances, I always have. And this one just has some complexity in the dry down and I actually think the dry down is beautiful so the the lemonade and all that fruity sweetness up top is really fun and pretty but once you get into the dry down which is what of course you're left with most of the time it's just this beautiful it must be their amber accord um, that's got that little bit of kind of like spiciness in it um, and then just powdery and cuddly and warm and lovely so yeah, this is a, a beautiful powdery fragrance. So if that's your kind of thing, I recommend you 
find a sample or buy a bottle and enjoy it. So next, I'm gonna show you what it kind of reminds me of. Um, fairly a, a bit, quite a bit. So this one, this is Shalimar Filtra. And I'm not completely crazy because um, on Fragrantica, somebody in the, you know, this fragrance smells like section for bronze listed the Shalimar Eau de Shalimar. So I'm not completely bonkers thinking that I'm picking up a little bit of that when I smell this. Um, they're not the same. Um, I adore this one. This one is more shalimar -y. Um I guess you could say a little more vintage-y smelling, but it's got that lemony freshness and the vanilla that's so pretty in this one. And this one also has just a to die for dry down. Where like you pick up your shirt that you wore the next day with either of these and you just melt at the smell that's left. Um, so yeah, they absolutely remind me of each other. What is going on with my lid? I think we've had a, a, cr a lid crisis. All right, <laughs> we cannot not have our little medallion. Um, so yeah, if, if you like this, you'll like this. Um, if you don't like this, you still might like this because they're different, certainly. This is like the very classy, sophisticated 40 year old woman that's got her life together and wears really nice outfits and gets her nails done and, you know, is very put together. And then this is like definitely family, you know, it's her niece maybe or something like that. That's just kind of fun and flirty, um, but oh, they're family, you can tell. <laughs> Anyway, just my little comparison, my thoughts on this gorgeous fragrance. Uh, don't sleep on it if that type of fragrance is your thing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, found it helpful in some way, and I will see you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.